New Haven police are hoping to get some new information in an old murder investigation. Today, 16 years since the death of a Yale student, a death that made big news. News 8's Brian Spiros is live in News 8 Control this morning with a look back at the death and subsequent investigation into it. Talking about Suzanne Joven here. Good morning, Brian. Well, hey, Chris. Good morning, everyone. As you just said, it has been 16 years since Suzanne Joven was murdered. No arrests were ever made in the case, but New Haven police are hoping new leads will possibly respark the investigation and find the killer. Now, Joven was a senior at Yale at the time of her death. On the night of December 4th, 1998, Joven attended a meeting for an organization she belonged to. According to the investigation, after that, she was last seen on the Yale campus shortly before 930. 30 minutes later, a 911 call came in that a body was lying in the road near the corner of Edge Hill and East Rock Roads. It was in fact Joven. She had been stabbed 17 times. After her death, there were possible suspects, one being Yale instructor James Vandeveld. He was later cleared of any wrongdoing in the case. Now, there's still a $150,000 reward that is being offered in this case. We should also mention that police will be holding their meeting tonight at 6 o'clock at Wilbur Cross High School. Anyone is welcome, especially if you have any information that can help with this investigation. As I just mentioned, there is still a reward to bring the killer to justice. And now, police say before Joven died, she was supposed to get study materials from a friend. There was also a passerby who stumbled upon the couple who found Joven's body in the road. It's believed these people and others may hold some critical information, and that's why police are hoping anyone and everyone will come forward. We're reporting live from News 8 Control, Brian Spiros, News 8.